Which industries do you think will be most affected by this technology and when? Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> and when. Okay. So, so I think um, it's, uh, I, I've alluded to it a little bit. So it's, um, you know, uh, I think oftentimes when we think of what applications quantum computers have, you know, it's uh, basically limited by the availability of the algorithm for the type of problem you are solving. Uh, and largely, you know, the big known algorithms can be classified into, you know, three or four kinds. Uh, of course, there's like different models of computing and, you know, uh, but for computing all purpose, of course, and then there's crypt analysis, like crypto, like breaking crypto systems. And, you know, that that's like the key distribution. There's a whole new different ball game. Like there's a lot of algorithms there too. Uh, but in terms of computing and having primitives or speed ups, uh, you know, there is, of course, the uh, more recently, there is the HHL algorithm, which is for machine learning. Uh, there is uh, Schwarz factorization, which is, you know, period finding uh, primitive, you know, uh, quantum Fourier transforms, phase estimation. Uh, and then there's Grover algorithm, which is for search. So in each of these uh, classes have like their own expected speed ups. And, you know, people have been trying to uh, get better speed ups over classical computers. Uh, you know, but largely, you know, you can really count with maybe 10 fingers, like the, like your, your hands, right? Your, on your fingers, like how many algorithms there are. Um, so we, we think, we think that, you know, actually there, there might be more, um, but it's just, you know, the type of people that are drawn to those problems, they like solving certain problems. And, you, you know, when you start when you start out, you know, of course, the most mathematical people are in crypt analysis, right? Because that's a highly mathematical area. Um, and, you know, and then it comes, you know, even when you look back to like classical computing, like a lot of the breakthroughs that happened for computing happened because we needed to break. Well, I, I wasn't there, but, you know, uh, humankind needed to break uh, the Enigma machine. Right. And, and, and so. And security. Yeah, the security of. Uh, you know the security of uh, a particular crypt system, a crypt a crypt crypto system, uh, and you know. But later on, then you start to see that actually the the techniques that were used to compute, uh, you know, could actually also be applied to other types of problems. And now we're just seeing like amazing stuff. Like, like I mean, <laughs> like CGI for Interstellar, right? Like whoa, okay. <laughs> and, but then also, you know, of course, you know, landing on the moon and other things like that and having Voyager, um, you know, the, the um, I, I forgot what the name of it, it's the satellite that went out of uh, the solar system and having to, you know, encode information and decode it, you know, and stuff like that. So, so I mean, it's, it's, it's all this stuff was um, incredible, right? But when we started out with computing, that wasn't what we envisioned. Maybe that wasn't the initial intent. Um, but it, it's, it's sort of gotten its own life. And I think in some ways, um, we hope that, you know, this is going to happen with quantum computing. Um, uh, but coming back to your question, like, what do you, what do I think, you know, will benefit from quantum computing? I think a lot of the mathematical problems, like the areas where there are hard mathematical problems, I think that's the first natural place to, uh, to, to apply them to, um, so I guess if I, I need to put more specifics on it, it's like, you know, bank, like finance, uh, weather modeling, uh, aerospace, you know, pharma, where a lot of computing power, or even like, you know, uh, I think there's this potential for, um, yeah, pharma, pharma, but there's also, I, I forgot, so chemicals, you know, like, finding the right chemicals with the right um, characteristics. Uh, so, so all these things, you know, all these areas, they use a lot of computing power.